Hi everyone! Today is the 3rd of January and Happy New Year and I hope you had a fantastic um, festive time. I am for sure looking forward to getting back into my usual routine because I really miss it. I like things to be organized and although it's nice to take a little break, um, you know, once a year, I am very happy now it's over. And um, so today I'm filming the first video of this year and actually there is one video which I have filmed before Christmas but I haven't had a chance to edit it and it's about the all to new um, the, the watercolor pen set and I'm swatching it all out and showing you all the colors and it's sort of like a review swatch video. Um, so I'm not sure whether that will come out either tomorrow or next week but this video I'm hoping to edit today and post it today so it used to be the art shop that I would go to get all of my art supplies when I was living in um, Hampstead and <clears throat> I just wanted to show you the little um, quote here in the back of the bag it says let's fill this town with artists and um, yeah it's a great art shop and there are a few of those shops through London and uh, UK so anyways this is what I got um, I didn't really need anything but I just wanted to browse and I found a few things there so first of all is this empty um, Kamoi paper washi adhesive tape so it's a washi and the color is powder pastel powder blue it actually looked quite aqua like a nice pale aqua in the sh in the store but um maybe it was the lighting or something so it's more of a blue it's between aqua and blue i'd say so it's not really a true aqua color but anyways i like it so i got it um the other thing which is a little bit boring but uh you might want to hear about it anyway it's these 50 clear plastic card bags and they are designed for a6 cards and envelopes um, and the size is this one so 120 by 167 millimeters and what they are and it says here acid free is essentially just envelopes to keep and you can see they're really super cheap they're only three quid for 50 um, they are to kind of slide your cards in there so if you for example would want to make um like a postcard for someone or a piece of like an illustration you can slide it in there and give it to someone so that they can display it as it is you know it just would keep it from dust and um it looks quite nice so i use these envelopes for uh the postcards that i did uh, for my son's nursery but um, the the Christmas cards that I did for them but the um, thing was that I didn't know where I got this from and I'm not sure whether Hobbycraft has them I might have seen them anyhow so I decided to get uh, this pack again just because they are really useful so I like that also the other thing you can do is you could for example create an illustration uh, put it in the envelope and then you could um, use one of those clips. I had a bunch of the fancy gold clips like um, this one, like a bulldog clip, but um, you know the gold ones that look really nice, but I just can't find one right now. But the, the idea is that you can just hook it onto the envelope and then hang it onto your mood board or maybe as a instead of a frame on your wall if you have um, something to um, adhere it to so that's that quite boring like I said but you know useful thing then I wanted to show you I got a mug which was discounted and <laughs> I really liked it so It's a bit dusty inside, but um, anyways, I'll clean it up. So originally it was twelve ninety five, and I got it for seven ninety five. So that was a nice sale, and I just loved the idea of having all these artists um, used 
brushes and it's like you know when you um look into a book and you see the artists that um share what they use that's exactly what this is you know the the nicely used and abused art utensils that um have been used to create art basically so it's a repeated uh repeated image and it's done quite well so you can't really see where they stuck it together but basically it's this image that's repeated so it goes like that around the mug but it's done really neatly i'm not planning to drink tea from this cup i'm planning to keep it on my desk in my studio and maybe just uh, put a bunch of i don't know brushes or something like that um that would look quite nice in here maybe some pens or something like that something that um i use quite regularly okay and now let's look at this last um, item that I got, which is the watercolor book. And it's really, really nice. So first of all, I haven't seen it anywhere else. I haven't seen it on Amazon yet. So I will check it out and I really hope that it's available because it really is cool. Um, it's quite affordable. So it's $9.99. It's 10 quid. And I think it's a good price for a book. Um like this so the, the size of the book and the quality is good the paper is really good um so it's by um helen birch and it's called just add watercolor so basically the idea behind this book is that uh it's a collection of different um techniques um from contemporary artists so you have a variety of artists here and it starts off with watercolour and the watercolour theme goes throughout um, the book. So it might be ink and watercolour, it might be acrylics and watercolour. And um, here let's have a look at the contents. So you have traditional watercolour, gouache, digital, mixed media, other watercolour based media, non-paper media. So it's quite interesting and... Um, I'll just give you a quick flip through. It also is, so here is actually, before the flip through, this is all the art that you get in a in a thumbnail. And that just sold it to me immediately. I love this style. I love the colors. I love um, most of these illustrations are very, very, um, you know, how should I say, kind of like modern art and something I would really love to frame and put it on a, on a wall as a collage of different frames because it would look really neat and interesting. Um, it's just a, a different vision of regular things like leaves or whatever, but it's presented in an interesting way, like this teacups, for example, with a girl sticking out of there. There's another piece which is quite abstract which I really love uh, I might be able to find it for you so yeah like I said this is just to give you an idea what the book is all about let me just give you a close-up of these lovely images and uh, then the format goes like that so you always get the artist name of the work that's presented here and then you know, depending on what the techniques were that were used. For example, here it's the bold and unusual color. So um, Helen will be talking about um, how the artist used the red color to emphasize uh, certain elements, how the color was used throughout the illustration. And um, so, yeah, it's, it's really good little bit of information, not too much to read. And just getting yourself familiar with, you know, current artists um i always love that i find it super super inspirational like for example this one if you look closer it's actually pages from vintage books that have been taken out and somehow um stitched or, or glued together and then there is an illustration of it of, of a face on top of it so it's a really uh quirky way of of putting art and paper uh, so it says reinventing traditional techniques so you know looking outside of the box basically 
and loads and loads more if you are a watercolor artist uh, or if you are a beginner i think either way you would really enjoy that so here is a thalo green and it explains um the the use of of this watercolor throughout the illustration and this is called four bowls of green so that's oh this is beautiful this type of thing is stunning i want to do more of that kind of style this year and um kind of combining doodles and watercolors together is something i did a little bit earlier this the last year but i kind of left it and i want to go back into that and explore more of it staining paper so you have uh, this technique here before you start uh, doodling or illustrating with an ink pen you can stain the paper to create a sense of depth and uh, atmosphere so it looks like a sky with some trees but they weren't painted they were just stained on the paper so loads and loads to learn from beautiful pieces of work that were chosen by Helen so highly recommend this book if you get if you can get hold of it like I said in, in Cassard you'll get it if they still have it or you could have a look in the links and if it's there then I'll link it uh, in on Amazon this is another piece that I absolutely find super cool and quirky there's like a rabbit and some sort of monkey or poodle or something which is standing on top of it with a whale it's just so cool I mean look at this this is the exact type of art that I find really fun and current you know ha ah, this is quite funny it's uh two dogs dancing in what seems to be like wigs and skirts actually quite similar to the oh let me just grab it so this is the maggie holmes willow lane collection and remember how she did the panda in the tutu skirt <laughs> so that sort of reminds me of that look at that Maggie Holmes is fantastic. She's one of the top, top people in the um, scrapbooking industry. And loads and loads of really super inspiring pieces. I mean, look at that. Feathers, Holmes, it's like some sort of feather forest. I could flip through this book for hours and hours. And the good thing is um, you always have this bit of information so if you are curious of how this was created you can quickly read here and this one is talking about priming a canvas and I think it's using gesso to to make the surface different and so the watercolor would be reacting different on it as well oh my gosh look at this this is pretty pretty cool these appear to be pugs I think I love anything that has to do with um, not so much pugs but like French bulldogs and there are quite a few pieces here in this book so here is the piece that I was talking about before it's on page 190 and I love the abstract sense of it so there is a staircase that leads to a door with a dog uh, that's leaving and there is a frame of supposedly the dog and the owner. There is a little plant here, quite simple, quite basic. Um, and then behind the wall, we can also see supposedly the owner relaxing on the armchair with a bottle of water. It's just really, really interesting to me, you know. It's something that makes you think there's a big gap between them not something you usually would put in a in a painting but it's uh, the, the composition is very interesting so yeah at the end you get also a bit of information about materials so yeah I absolutely adore this little book and it just makes me um, you know excited because I haven't seen it before and also the fact that it's super inspiring and um, thanks for watching and see you soon.